So almost exactly one month ago, we talked about how AIBs will be seated with NVIDIA's next generation graphics cards, presumably based on the Turing architecture, sometime in late August. This also meant that we would be able to see a launch sometime soon. Well, we now have some more details to share that we were able to confirm with our sources intimately familiar with this matter. Now you might have heard about the ongoing speculation about whether it's going to be the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 11 or GTX 20 series, and we can confirm, well, that the company hasn't even told the AIBs this information yet. Here's the kicker though, not only is the prefix undecided, but so is the suffix. We have been told that the company is actively considering suffixes like XXX5, so you could get something like the GTX 1170 and the 1175, or the 2070 and 2075. So to make it easier to follow, let's break down NVIDIA's upcoming graphics cards lineup according to the TDP brackets. The NVIDIA Next Generation Turing lineup will initially have three power brackets, 120 watts, 150 watts, and 180 watts. In increasing power performance, these will be the three cards that NVIDIA is planning to launch in the near future. Here is where the suffix uncertainty begins. The 120 watt card could have a suffix of 60, 65, or 70. The 150 watt card could have a suffix of 70, 75, or 80. And the flagship 180 watt card could have 80, 85, and 90 suffix. Well, while naming convention is not confirmed at this point, we do know one thing for sure. NVIDIA does not plan to align the 120 watt next gen Turing series with the GTX 1060 at all, and they will charge accordingly. Here's where things get a bit more interesting. Not only is NVIDIA planning not to align the 120 watt next gen GPU with the GTX 1060, but they are planning to charge approximately twice as much as the MSRP of the GTX 1060 for it. The good thing is, however, that this philosophy does not appear to be valid for the higher tier cards. These are the expected MSRPs that the AIB and vendors have been informed by NVIDIA. The 120 watt NVIDIA next gen Turing GPU will be priced at around $499 MSRP. The 150 watt next gen Turing card will be priced around $599 MSRP and the 180 watt next gen Turing GPU will be priced somewhere between $699 and $749 MSRP. Now at the same time, the GeForce GTX 1080 Ti MSRP will drop in price by about $100 and the GeForce GTX 1080 MSRP will drop in price by around $50. We were able to talk about the expected release schedule and our sources seem to confirm that it has been st stated for quite some time now. Namely that the lineup will be following a staggered release schedule as has been the case from the start and quite common really. Our source refused to call them by any particular name and wanted to only refer to them as the small, medium and big GPU. So we will resort back to the GDP naming convention once again. Add-in board partners and vendors of NVIDIA are expected to have the SKUs stocked by the following dates, which is around the same time we should see them released. The NVIDIA Next Gen 120 watt GPU will be arriving at the end of September, the 150 watt GPU by the second week of September, and the NVIDIA 180 watt GPU should be arriving within the first week of September. All in all, it looks like gamers can expect some new cards to play with soon enough. The one thing that our source talked about, however, was that NVIDIA will not have enough graphics cards to meet demand, so expect the usual Amazon and eBay overpricing shenanigans before supply runs force the price to something more palatable. So we'd love to hear your thoughts on this. There's been a lot of leaks, a lot of rumors up until this point, and it seems like we're getting much closer. So things should be coming a lot faster and harder, and we're gonna do our best to kind of vet through some of the really bad ones and bring you the best sources that we can. So keep it locked here at WCCF Tech TV, and we'll catch you in the next video.